home is facing an environmental crisis. It's getting hotter. If humanity makes no changes to its emissions, scientists predict that average global temperatures will likely increase by 1.5 degrees centigrade between 2030 and 2052. If that wasn't enough, we face many complicated and connected environmental risks. A fall in biodiversity, rise in air, water and soil pollution, food and energy security, extreme weather. With so many crises ahead of us, it's easy to become discouraged and, well, just give up. So we want to tell you a story where the combination of science and political will worked to make our world a better place. Here at Imperial, one of our first steps to help the environment came in 1976, when the Center for Environmental Technology, ISET, was founded by Professor Sir Gordon Conway and his colleagues. Professor Sir Gordon Conway, who had spent time in Borneo in the past decade helping to manage pests in agriculture, saw an opportunity to establish a school where people would be able to tackle modern pollution-related problems in the air, in the water and in the ground. When it was formally opened in 1978 by Secretary of State for the Environment, Peter Shaw, its first class had 24 students, which has since grown to over 150 master's students graduating each year. In the late 1970s, ISET researchers were amongst the first to discover the effects of transboundary acid rain on animal, human and plant health. Dr. Nigel Bell, an environmental scientist, was part of the House of Commons Select Committee on the Environment. He, along with other scientists, collected evidence about the effects of acid rain, which was published and debated in Parliament in 1985. Their report raised huge public awareness around acid rain's potential to erode historic buildings in the UK, damage forests in Germany and deplete fish stocks in Scandinavia. In response the following year, Parliament passed legislation to install systems that would remove sulphur dioxide from exhaust gases in British power stations. With increased regulations and declining coal usage, UK emissions in sulphur dioxide have fallen by 98% since 1970. This was just the beginning and ISIT scientists have continued the battle to understand the nature of challenging environmental problems and to find and promote solutions. The late former director of the CEP, Professor John Mumford, worked with the European Food Safety Authority, the World Health Organization and several more national and international agencies to develop biosecurity regulations and protocols involving pests. Using a lifetime's worth of experience working with governments and funders, many of our staff have helped advise and design global policies showing governments how to calculate the impact and risks posed by different environmental challenges and how to manage them. Professor Helen Absimon has been a pioneer not only in the regulation of air pollution, but also for female scientists everywhere. All across the world, people, including scientists, are doing their bit to create a better world. History tells us not to give up. 